Hi everyone, welcome to With Heart. When I went to the designer trade show in Las Vegas, I saw so much beautiful artwork. And there was one piece in particular that I was really, really drawn to, but it was so expensive. And so I had the idea to recreate it in a way, at least an inspired piece, uh, myself and do a DIY. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today is an easy and inexpensive art project that looks really high end. The supplies that you need for this project are really simple. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need is a canvas pad, pieces of canvas to uh, draw on and you can just pick this up. I just picked this up at Michael's. It's kind of like a fabric paper and um, but it looks really beautiful for artwork. The next thing that you're going to need is a gold pen and I've never used this product before. I'm really excited to try it out but I wanted a gold leafing effect. I wanted it to actually look like gold leafing not just like a gold marker or gold pen or something like that. So this I found is by Krylon and it's a gold leafing pen. The next thing that you're going to need are two frames uh, that are have a wider mat. And the last thing that you need is a ruler. But I didn't have a ruler in my house, at least I couldn't find one. So I'm just going to use an unopened canvas pad and just use the side of it to act as a ruler. First, you shake it. A lot of shaking, get all the ink mixed up inside. And once you feel like it's shaken up pretty good, you want to get like a paper towel or another notepad with several layers underneath it, and you're just going to press down. And the pen, the pen tip kind of compresses and goes down, and it gets the gold leafing flowing into it. Now that we have the pen ready to go, I'm going to use my makeshift ruler. And this artwork basically had different um, thicknesses of gold lines, of gold leafing lines, going all over in different directions. The tip of this pen is perfect for that because it has a chisel on it, so I can do both wide and thin. Okay, that's it. Eight simple lines in different widths and our first piece of art is almost done. We just need to put it in our frame now. So the canvas that I did this art on um, is obviously bigger than the inside of my frame. So the lovely face you never see behind the camera, James, had a wonderful suggestion and he said to use the cardboard that's from the frame to match up the size of how big the art needs to be. Brilliant and so simple. So. That's what I'm going to do. Flip my art over and trace the outside um, with the cardboard. Artwork can be so expensive that I really feel like it belongs in every single household. So I like to mix high-end pieces of art with a lot of DIYs and family photos and a few vintage pieces thrown in. I feel like everyone can have art in their home no matter their budget. Thank you so much for watching with Heart. Have a great day.